everyone. Amy Witcher here, week 14 in the NFL, and back by special... Popular. Popular was big, the word, Amy. Big, big demand. My gay brother husband. What up? Who that baby? Brian Davis. Saints were in the Superdome. And you were not. I was not. I could not be there because I had to go to work on Sunday. And so we watched the game at South in Santa Monica. Shout out to Jeremy Bilodeau and all the SoCal Saints fans. So much fun. We had a big old group of people. It was like a great time and like, hush puppies galore. We called out the Dome West. <laughs> yeah, we did. And the best part about watching in the Dome West is like watching at the Dome because we win with 31 points. You oh, know yeah. 31-13. Yeah, remember last time we scored 31 points? Well, well week six. But, but yeah. But um, that, Super Bowl, Bowl 44. 44. Yeah, putting on points is always the sign of a good day. Um, Saints defense was big and sexy per usual. At one point in time, Jonathan Villeneuve knocked down the quarterback. What's his name? Pet Rams quarterback? Sam Bradford. Sam Bradford. Um, knocked him down, and so <laughs> the Rams got the ball, and it was like second and 32. Awesome. Secondary was hot, hot, hot as well. Um, yeah, they can follow me any day. <laughs> like she's on Twitter. <laughs> what? Oh, you know what I love about the Saints defense? Yeah. Our defensive coordinator, your friend and mine, mm -hmm. who relaxes. Uh, uh. <laughs> Greg Williams loves the thrust it, and it's awesome. You know why? Because he does it when big plays happen. Yeah, because he gets off on defense, kind of like me. What's up? Okay, second favorite team is so Vikings. Getting off. <laughs> this is tough. Not everything's as picking of getting up. What? Never mind. Okay. It was second favorite team, Minnesota Vikings. They lost to the Giants, and they played in Detroit because of the Metrodome. Even God himself has come down and smote <laughs> the Minnesota Vikings. I don't know what that means. It's it's his way to keep Brett Favre from continuing that streak. Oh, my God. I don't know if you know. He didn't play. <gasps> oh, he didn't? No. Oh, my God. Uh. Wait a minute. Is that... Uh, Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's happening. With late breaking news, news, you guys, we just Brad, broke the story. Brett Favre did Favre. not play on Monday. He didn't play on Monday night. He did not play. You wow. know how we learned about that? Wow, wow. Um, that press conference. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that still going on? Because that went on all night long. To Brett talk about Favre is the Bernie play. Sanders of the NFL. Is all I don't I'm know saying. who that is. I don't know who that is, but it's probably politics. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite part, though, about that whole press conference wasn't that it was 18 hours long, but that he did it. Not in a Minnesota Vikings hat, yep. but in a number four hat. And not a purple and gold number four hat, but a camouflage number four hat. I didn't see it. This bothers me so much. But it encapsulates Brett Favre this year. It's all about the ego. That man's ego is bigger than his... Well, we all saw it. Let's just say he, man's got a big ego. Blocked it out. Blocked it out. Crocs. Saw Crocs. Okay, speaking of giant, giant idiots, what's up with the Jets' um, strength and conditioning coach, Sal... Alosi, who tripped the Miami Dolphins guy, and like the Jets are like a, the, the guy's like a big fat idiot is what he is, and he's a strength and conditioning coach, which is like what being a trainer at LA Fitness, whatever. Like he, I tell you, you trip. Look, I'll trip. I've tripped a lot. I can trip on my own. You trip me in a work situation, I'm gonna come at you and I'm gonna knock you on your balls. There's no. No question about it. He said, oh, I just want to be up close. I want to cheer on my team. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You want to be a cheerleader? In New York Jets flight crew? Yeah, join the Jets flight crew. Oh, I, ooh, I would. Oh. And that's when you, when you watch a girl in a gate, you actually learn the names of the cheerleading squads. Right, exactly. Oh, you know, my God. Th on the upside for the New York Jets is they always have that reality show. They could always fall back on that. And if the situation can walk away with $10 million this year, maybe Mark Sanchez can buy me something pretty. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Bears and Patriots. Um, looks like the pass came back on that one, 36-7. You know what it all is about with Chicago, though, is uh, if you can't play in the snow, you might want to consider a dome. New Orleans plays in one. Dallas plays in one. Indianapolis plays in one. Why? Because our weather sucks. And we don't have blizzards. Get yourself a dome. <laughs> Preferably one <laughs> that will stay up. <laughs> See, Minnesota. <clears throat> That's a lot. That's so crazy. Anyway, there was a Bears fan who crashed our party. I thought I was being ambushed. Turns out I was just a boyfriend of a girl. Anyway, in his Zika vest. In his Zika vest. Totally fun guy. Look. At the end of the day, I bought him a beer. Here's the thing. I'm not a hero, but that guy was having, like, a really bad day. So there you go. How about that on Philly and Dallas when uh, Philly walks away with the win 30-27? Oh, yeah, and Tashar Choice, who plays with the Dallas Cowboys, wanted to get Michael Vick's autographs, and people thought that was weird, but whatevs. You know what proves is that we're not the only super fans out there. Exactly, but I won't. I won't ask for autographs. See my Clint Eastwood story, circa 93. <laughs> 
We had uh, Kansas City playing San Diego down on the queue where Laura Wendell was live and in person. What's up, Laura Wendell? They're yeah. not her Browns, but she knows how to represent AFC, mm-hmm. AFC team number two. Mm-hmm. Quarterbacks. So, yeah. So that was an interesting game. Castle's out. Um, Kansas City ends up losing in a shutout. Minnesota, under the wise leadership of Tavares Jackson, we, they walk away with three points in their loss. And then Aaron Rodgers and his beautiful eyes. Why are you yelling at me? I'm right here. <laughs> Use your inside voice. And then you're like, don't yelling at me. Aaron Rodgers, though. I know. You get eyes. so excited about him. So him and, the, him and his beautiful eyes. <laughs> They all go up and get concussed. You got that. You know what? I don't... I'm sorry I got hurt, but I really don't like the word concussed. I don't want that to be a new thing that everyone talks about. Oh, I was concussed. I'm like, no, you you had a concussion. He suffered a concussion. Whatever. Let's not... Let's stop right here, and let's stop... Let's band together and stop using concussed. It sounds dumb. I don't like it. It's a dumb word. I had a concussion once. I got hit in the head. I got hit in the head. So it's the time you broke your ankles. It's a different time. Sometimes my eyes shut. Stroke. <laughs> Speaking of fat girl points. Don't speak to me of fat girl points. You did that last week and pointed at me. <laughs> my chest. And Arizona introduces us, introduces us <laughs> with their new fourth string quarterback. Jay Feely. <laughs> their kicker. Who is obviously their entire offense. He had five field goals this week and and a touchdown. I'm sorry, your kicker? That's really a hurts. lot of fat girl points is what I'm saying. Speaking of losers, we got some great ones this week. We got uh, Nashville, which is not actually. <laughs> Washington. <laughs> they go ahead. They beat Tampa Bay. What's amazing no, about... No, they didn't, though. <laughs> Fucking Washington was beat by Tampa Bay. You bonehead. You want to say the losers first to give them more credit, and now you can't fucking figure out who won and lost. <laughs> you have I'm going to give you Hugh Hauser nipples. <laughs> you made me... Speaking look- of Hugh Hauser. <laughs> Tennessee um, helps Indianapolis. Um, this but- is... Say something interesting about this. <laughs> What's interesting is Andy's been losing the past three games because 17 million interceptions. What's interesting is um, that team that lost that lost to Indianapolis, they're called Tennessee Titans. <laughs> I need a boys band. Speaking of our new sponsor. <laughs> and then Atlanta played. Speaking of Monday Night Football, we had an amazing game between... <laughs> The Houston Texans and the Baltimore Ravens. <laughs> I was late home from work and missed the first three and a half quarters. I sat through the first three and a half quarters. <sighs> yeah. I like stamps. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could still lick them. <laughs> oh my god, Andy Rooney's in the house. Andy Rooney joined Oh my god, you got my stomach's in a bad way. Did you have the bubble cups? Did you say poop? Did you poop or poison? No, I have to poop. <laughs> Stop it, my stomach's upset. Okay. Okay, a little college action. Iowa Hawkeyes uh, has a couple issues this last week with one of their um, key players, DJK, who got busted for dealing drugs, and there was like $3,000 found in his apartment, and there's a laptop and all sorts of stuff. And, but the good thing is he's actually going to go, um, he's going he's gonna to join the draft and go play, you know, go try to play in you know, the NFL, which is probably a good call, going to count as not a very good drug dealer, <laughs> okay? <laughs> well, um, what she know? Well, what, what I know, I'm just a girl, you know? <laughs> and I'm just a gay. And we love football. See y'all next week.